Well, Zach Stork is a place winner once again for Atlantic Cam and uh, moved up a little bit on the podium, not as high as you would have liked to have been, but your thoughts on your tournament, Zach? Yeah, um, I think I rested pretty well in the whole tournament. I was not a position very often a couple times late in that, uh, that last match, but all the times I lost, you know, things I can't control, uh, things that are controlled by uh, something, something outside of, of what I can do, so I don't know. If I can't control it, I can't be worried about it, so uh, I'm over that. I wrestled hard, hard as I could, wrestled well. Good tournament. First round of match, you were, I mean, it was a battle. You kind of had to get it done at the end. But what did you turn to to be able to get the points you needed? Yeah, um, I knew the kid was getting tired at the end of the third period, but I knew, I knew obviously, knew I was in the better shape. And it was the, just just the pre-match jitters. I kind of thought in that third period, you know, uh, first match in the well this year, I probably just probably just got the jitters, kind of just kind of shook that off. The start of the third period, fired off a nice shot with about 20 seconds left for the win. What about, uh, I guess, Mickelson? I'll go there next. Uh, you've wrestled him so many times. Another close one right down to the yep. wire. Tell us about that match and what that rivalry is like against a guy you know very well. Yeah, I've got a ton of respect for the kid. Uh, he's, he's a great dude. We're, we're pretty good friends off, off the mat. Um, yeah, we've probably wrestled six, seven, eight times in high school, something around there. First one being the JV State Finals freshman year. Remember that? And uh, yeah, all of them are all of them are always pretty close. Uh, this last one came down to ultimate tiebreaker. He, another little controversial situation, but he ended up riding me out and getting the win. Too much respect to uh, take that away from him. I mean, is it kind of just shocking? I guess it's just the way it is. But the margin of error just so slim that you know things could have gone a little bit differently. Might have been a lot better. Yeah, having uh, Asmoa who hasn't wrestled yet, but is probably gonna destroy that kid in the finals. Um, he'll have a bracket in his hands, and I was about a quarter of an inch from uh, pinning him in the in the semifinals. That's that'll probably haunt me for the rest of my life. Uh, I, I still can't get the picture out of my head. Didn't sleep last night. Probably won't sleep tonight, but we'll see if I can get through it. Is that going to drive you though, too, and some motivation oh, yeah. here? I mean, you're going to take your career on the college level. Yeah, I'm not done. That'll that'll probably stick with me my whole life. I'll never forget that, um, especially going on to Grandview. That'll, that'll motivate me to get where I'm uh, trying to get. What about the team and the rest of you guys? A pretty good trip for Atlantic Cam with uh, what four place winners now and hoping for big things from McConkey tonight. Pretty good uh, run here for the Trojans. Yeah, we're looking for a top three finish. Um, didn't get a lot out of a couple guys, but state tournament stuff happens. You know, you don't always get what you uh, – are looking for those guys fought harder for the team. They did all they could. They just uh, couldn't get on the podium this year, and I know that'll drive them to do better next year. But uh, as a team, we're not where we could have been. But overall, it's a pretty good tournament. Hopefully, McConkie goes and uh, wins the title tonight. Quite a transformation for you throughout your high school career. You went from uh, I mean, you just put on a lot of weight from your freshman to sophomore and junior year. Uh, I guess what are the differences in your wrestling style maybe over the years and how you've uh, progressed. Yeah, I remember freshman year coming in at 152. I was still a little chunker, I think. Uh, actually, made I made 38 for our fat test, and then I uh, went up to 52 because I couldn't keep the weight down. So I definitely wasn't the biggest 52, but I still had some baby fat on me. Uh, I was a fast 52, I know, I know that. I lost a little bit of speed coming through, going up weights, getting up to 210 in the offseason didn't help probably, but uh, I, I mean, moved into a, more of a big move type of wrestler as, as I went on in my career and got a lot of pins, I like pins. Yeah, you say big move, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, J.J. Clark when you pinned him last year um, in the postseason. Is that one of the first things you think of as highlights or what are some other things that uh, oh, have yeah. been front and center for you? Uh, definitely, that's that's top three probably. Um, winning that match, I was an underdog, probably shouldn't have gone to state, probably wasn't top two in that bracket. I lost to Mickelson the week before. Um, end up pinning J.J. Clark, beating Mickelson in the finals. Just a great tournament for me. Uh, get to the state tournament. And then uh, definitely another one was today. Coming back, I think I was down 3-1 to uh, that Mount Vernon kid for fifth. Took him down, let him up, took him down. I think. I'm, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, took him down with about seven seconds left for the win. Pretty good victory for me. I feel like uh, I had a little coached up in the back of my head telling me to stick that one out. I don't think I could have gone out of a loss. I don't know how I would have handled it. So that was 
that one will stick in my head forever too. The uh, the theme outfight someone. What does that mean to you? That's how you live. Uh, if you win, if you win, you outfought someone. You work to outfight someone in the room every day. Every single match you go into, you're trying to outfight someone. If you outfight that person, you're gonna win. If you don't, you're gonna lose. So it's a win or live. When you live, lose, you die type of situation. Thanks, Zach. Good work, Thanks, great today.